Hi there, this is Mega Supreme here with another Transformers toy review. I'm having a look at a third party figure this time. This is from Fans Project. This is from their uh, Dino Combiner range, uh, Saurus. Uh, and this one is Dino San. Okay, so this is the third one in the line. I think San is uh, Japanese or Chinese for third or something like that. Um, you can see I've had a, a repro label to it, just a, a little Decepticon symbol in here. Um, he's kind of a little bit smaller than a deluxe figure. So here's uh, the Groove alongside him. So you can see he's a little bit wider, but in actual fact Groove's a little bit taller than him. Um, I will be doing a review of Unite Warriors um, Defense Hall. Um, and uh, interestingly, Groove is the only uh, combined as all the figures so far to actually have light piping in it, which is quite cool. Um, but I just thought I'd show you that. Um, he's got this huge chunky kind of gun with him here. Uh, he does have light piping here, so oh no, he's, he's, he doesn't not all the way through, but you can see he's got um, blue eyes in in there, um, blue plastic, blue plastic in here, but it's not um, it's not all the way through. So I've put a little Decepticon symbol in here. Like I said, he's got a big gun on here. Articulation is pretty good on him. You know, you can move these all the way around. This can bend here, you've got two bends in the arm here, and the fists also, uh, they didn't move, but you just got a little peck hole in here. Okay, um, let's see, you've got waist articulation here as well. Uh, the legs are nice and clicky, go all the way up and back. You have a swivel there, bend at the knee there as well. Bend only goes back to there, and the foot uh, can bend forward and back, and can swivel around like that as well. So it's pretty decent. Uh, the figure himself is uh, pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of detail on him. He's very well made. Um, the only thing I'm probably not too keen on him is the the head mold. Uh, it just seems a little. Uh, there's just something missing from it. It should have like a bit more it seems like you should have like a little little mouth in there or something like that but uh, that's just my my personal preference but apart from that you know all the paints really well done on him the finish is really nice um, he's a nice solid figure the uh, as you are transforming you do have to be careful there are lots of on these ones uh, the claws and everything are quite sharp um, some of the edges are you know quite harsh on him but um, he's a pretty decent figure Good looking robot mode on him. I'll show you how you get him transformed. Oh yeah, the other thing to show you is just on the box here. This is the, the box that you get. And uh, with all of them, you can get kind of artwork on the side and on the back here. Um, this one also, he can kind of hold the, the guns from the first one. Kind of opens up and shows you pictures of the weapons that he can... These are actually the feet. So you can actually hold them in the same way as the um, the first guy can as well and you've got like a clear window in here where you can actually display them if you want to so I've kept all that and it's quite easy to pop them back in if you want to so I just thought I'd quickly show you guys that um, and then to transform them if I can remember correctly let's take this off here uh, I'll just keep the instructions to hand just in case in case I forget any of it uh, but the head kind of pops in and goes into there, that clicks back in there. Now you then bring this bit up, and that will click over there like that. I've also added a little Decepticon symbol, or a bigger Decepticon symbol on the top there. The mouth uh, does open and close in there. You've got quite sharp teeth and on the end here. The arms, uh, you want to unpeg this bit here. You can see where it pegs into here. And uh, then you want to swivel this around like that. Uh, so you've got his front foot. Same on the other side. Unpeg from there. Like that. Swivel around like so. So you've got his other front claw here. Um, and then from memory you want to pop this bit out. Yeah, I'm sure this bit does come out. There we go. So 
So it's just plugged in in there. So you want to pop this bit out like so. Um, these leg bits are going to kind of come together a little bit and you're going to be able to peg these bits in. Um, right, now the trick to this, fold these in like that. Um, and peg these from the side here. You can kind of leave them loose for now if you want. Like that. And then these are going to, ah uh, yeah, this foot here comes out. So you kind of pull it out from here, like that. Try not to bend your thumb back like I did. So it comes out from here. It does clip in slightly into there, which is a little bit tricky to get out. And then what you want to do is pull this away from here. If I remember correctly, perhaps you have to... Move these bits in. Get them like that. And then perhaps it was the other way around. These foot pieces then are going to come down. This is then going to fold back into here. If I remember correctly. Let's just double check the instructions on that. It's been a little while since I've actually transformed him, so I'm just making sure. Yeah, you fold these. This bit's going to come around and fold into here. This bit, then, uh, yeah. So fold this all the way in, and then fold this bit down and into this space here. Which can be a little bit tricky, so you have to kind of like pull this bit out and then pull push that bit in, like so. So it's just in that gap there, uh, like that. And then that sh these bits should then plug in together like that. If you've done everything correctly, that, that's in like that. So you've done kind of one half of it. Um, like I said, it is a little bit tricky to do, so you might be better off just kind of putting them to one side for now, and then making sure you do the other side. So. Let's probably take this one out like this. You can then pull this one out like that. And then pull it out from here. Move it in on itself. So then peg into the here. Like that. And you see there's little bits in here where it does plug in. Bring this bit in like that to fold it in, which like I said is the tricky bit. Like so fold these bits forward I think it is. Ah no, it's like that. So I actually got this one folded around the other way. I forgot to focus, sorry about that. Fold that back like that. And now we've got the job of kind of make, pushing everything forward and plugging everything in. So bring this bit in and plug it into there. Same on the other side as well. Yeah, if you've not got got it quite right, you just might just have to pop the the those hinges out a little bit so it's not quite so tight in in this bit here. So make sure you get it all lined up before you close it all in.
put in his legs down like so and then you can bring his leg round and it'll just plug into there bring that one forward again bring it, this black bit round and it'll just peg into a little hole in there and that should peg in like so then you can move his kind of legs out if you however you like these can uh, these bits don't move out but these ones can move out like that so you can get more of a kind of splayed look to him um, and then you've got him in his dyno mode and then you can plug the guns on top here or in here what I said about the the joints here you see where you can kind of move them out um, so where this one is I could probably move it out a little bit better in here probably not uh, plug everything together as well as I've done the last few times but kind of you get that with practice you do have light piping through these little bits in here in his eyes it's pretty decent uh, dynamo to be fair to him um, the other thing he does transform into um, which I can show you is not very exciting but he kind of transforms into the kind of lower torso part of the uh, dyno combiner okay so I'll show you show you that if you like. Um, trying to think the best way to get it into this mode from from here, any. Really. Um, probably the best way to do it would actually be to do it from robot mode. So I'll transform him very quickly back into robot mode, and I won't kind of go through all the steps and everything else like that as I'm doing it. So um, hopefully it should be a little bit quicker. Okay, so. As I just go through and just kind of get him all transformed. I won't do all of it, but it's just to get him back into that kind of shape, if you like. It just makes it a little bit easier. bits back out again these are the probably the hardest bit about the transformation actually it's just really fiddly and trying to get them out a lot of um, the combiners that I've seen you know even with the third party ones seem to have that sort of thing with the legs where they kind of pop out and back in again they... which is a neat little gimmick but um, sometimes it makes it a little bit tricky to, to transform so let's get his legs like that anyway. Um, and his head. No, that's fine with his head. Um, so we've got him kind of basically like this. Um, have the this bit pulled back like that. Okay, so that's that's absolutely fine. Um, next with the arms, what you want to do is actually bring them round to the back. Don't wait for that to focus. Is to actually just bring them back to the back like this um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of bring them on round here um, and bring them down like this and the idea is I think that um, that's going to then plug into this, the side of the, uh, the hand like that and it's quite hard to line it all up. Last supposed to plug into this bit here. There we go. So you've got that by now. Bring it around to the other side. Do exactly the same again. In uh, fold this bit down and towards you. Uh, swivel this bit around and down and then you've just got a question of trying to line up the little ball socket here and this bit on here so that might be a bit easier now than the other one or it might be even more difficult so let's try and line this one up so just push it on either side like that that's ah, nice that's done like that so that's, uh, wait for us to focus. So that's all in like that. So you kind of brought these bits around here, 
pegged them into uh, two bits here. So um, you've got uh, this bit here and like a ball plug in there as well. So you've got two places where they're plugged into. Okay. Uh, next up, you're going to fold these bits around here. And these are going to be the kind of connectors. So connecting the uh, bottom half of the torso to the top half of the torso. Okay. Um, you've already folded these bits forward, uh, so you don't need to kind of do those again. Um, with the legs, you want them, these legs here, you want them folded like that and like that. And then this bit here, you see there's a little, I've got to focus in. You see there's a little peg there where that goes into there, like that. Same on the other side, bring it around here and peg it in to there, like that. Okay, so we've got him like that. And uh, next up is what you're going to do is we're going to bring these leg pieces out again, like that. So I didn't pull them all the way back in first time, plug them in, and you see where they plug into the side there, same place they plug in. In, um, in beast mode, like that. Uh, and then on the back here um, is where you're gonna kind of fold these bits back in again. Like that, fold it back in like so, bring this bit down like that. Uh, this piece here, I think, looks like you need to bring this back in and plug that in. Let's just double check this bit. Make sure the legs are completely out. Plug it in into there. So that plugs in quite tightly into this bit here. These bits then, uh, then want to kind of come out and kind of go an angle there, like that. Uh, you want to do the same for this leg here. Like this. And bring this out, so it just kind of catches each time. You want to kind of bring it out. Like that. Bring the leg back in on this side here, like that. Fold this into this space here, like that. Bring it down so you've got this bit here showing like this, and then rotate these bits around here. Then you can move these bits out like that. That's how it shows it. Um, what then happens then is you've got the top half that plugs onto here, and then the legs which then plug onto the, the bottom half from here. So uh, we don't have any of the legs for them yet, but we do have the top half. Um, just to show you what it looks like on the instructions. Um, so I'm not gonna kind of bring them in here, but you can see here, this is the bottom half here, which is here. And you plug the top half onto here. So it's this section here. This is the first combiner that we've got here. The second one, and this is uh, this is the third one, and you've got the fourth one. So then we're missing the two legs to complete the piece. So that's it. Um, this has been uh, Dino San. And next up, I've also got to review uh, Dino Shi as well, um, which is a little bit easier to transform, so it uh, shouldn't be such a long video. But thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.